Okay, there we go. So the Cowboys lose to the Bears. And I'm not going to say the Bears aren't a good team, but I mean, this is just ridiculous. We are nowhere near the type of team that I thought we were. And let me tell you, it's Kellen Moore's fault. Nothing has changed. We have the same offensive line, the same wide receivers, even better wide receivers, the same exact defense, the same exact quarterback, running back, entire defense, exactly the same. The only thing that's changed is Kellen Moore. I'm telling you, the first couple games that he came into the league, he did good because he was new to the NFL and they hadn't seen anything. The only thing he knows, he's only 27 years old. The only thing he knows is if I throw, I can get yards. That's all he knows. You have, he inherited, listen to this. The best offensive line in football, arguably, and the best running back, if you ask me, in the entire NFL. He inherited that, and he still cannot run the ball. How can you have that offensive line and have Ezekiel Elliott and run it and get stuffed in the backfield time after time and again? How can you do that? We've gone from a a running offensive coordinator who could run and not throw to one who can throw and can't run. Lenahan could run a little bit. Lenahan was 10 times better than Kellen Moore. But this is what the Cowboys do. They get mad at who they shouldn't get mad at. Cowboys fans do. They get mad at who they shouldn't get mad at and like who they shouldn't like. It's like Romo. We had Romo. He was the best player on our entire team. He was the very last string that was remaining on that team that was holding us afloat. Get rid of him, we would have been 0-16. And he was the number one hated Cowboys fan, I mean Cowboys player, out of all the Cowboys players. The number one. Shango talked about getting rid of Romo his entire time that he was quarterback. Not Shango. Well, Shango didn't do it the whole time. But Cowboys fans, I was in Cowboys groups. All through those years, all they could talk about was Romo. That's all they could talk about. And that, and then we had a good team. We had Scott Linehan, who was a good offensive coordinator. I'm telling you, we're when you're number one in the league in rushing, that's a good offensive coordinator. That's a that's a good Scott Linehan didn't do nothing but go thirteen and three, nine and seven, and ten and six. That's what he did, and he got fired. Now we have a young 27-year-old offensive coordinator because the Cowboys fans, the millennials mostly, who believe that passing is the only way you can win games, I'm tired of this three yards and a cloud of dust offense. That's old-fashioned. Yeah, you know why old people do that? Because they figured out that's the best way to win. Because what you do is... You take your defense, your defense is on the field, and then your offense is on the field for like eight straight minutes, and it gives your defense a rest. And it gives the other team's offense less chances to score. See what I'm saying? Because even if you do good sometimes on passing, you give the ball right back, right like that. Because passing, you get big, long gains. You don't want big, long gains in football. You want to slowly, matriculously move your way down the field. You want to take as much time off the clock as you can. We found this out with Romo, too. It's not like we're just now learning this. We had Romo, remember, all those years, and we did shitty, 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 8 and 8, 8 and 8 and 8 and 8, 5 and 12, because all we, we put it all on Romo. Then we got DeMarcus Murray, and we thought, all right, we're going to start running the ball more than throwing it. And boom, we went 13 and 3. We literally went from 5 and 12 to 13 and 3 because we decided to run the ball more because it takes time away from the clock. Now, here we get an offensive coordinator who's pass happy. He inherits the best running back and the best offensive line in all of football, and he still cannot and will not run the ball. Here's how bad he sucks. People you that know about football and have played Madden and played games, 
he runs the ball out of the shotgun. We have a power running back. That's his number one run. We've ran that play about a hundred times this year. A draw run to the shotgun. We're on the goal line, third and two. Third and two, two yards to the goal, and he runs a shotgun run. They're in blitz formations, stacked up and ready to blitz, and he runs the ball out of a shotgun. Why would you be on shotgun in the goal line anyway? At least get in a a, a formation where the quarterback is on the line so they think you might run and you can fool them. Kellen Moore inherited the best running back in the league and the best offensive line and cannot run the ball. It's only going to get worse from here. Now he's going to get rid of all our running shit, all of our running linemen, all of our running backs. He's going to get rid of that shit because he's a passing off of the coordinator. And you have to run the ball. And it's not like he doesn't have a good passing offense. Dak Prescott is a pretty good quarterback. And we've got Amari Cooper, Randall Cobb, Michael Gallup, Tavon Austin, Jason Witten at tight end. I mean, this is the best he'll ever be able to throw. I doubt because, you know, Tavon Austin, Randall Cobb, those guys are going to be gone. Jason Witten is probably going to be gone this year. We're never going to have as good of a throwing team as we do now. And this is the best he can he can throw. I mean, it's the running the ball. You have to run the ball. Many times, third and five, third and four, we did not run the ball. We threw it and we could not get the first down. When we acquired Zeke Elliott, we were doing it when we had Murray. We ran the ball 25 to 35 times a game at the least. He doesn't, and he can't run. He's even tried to do it, and he's failed to do it. With the best offensive line in the league and running back, he's failed to do it. I'm telling you, that's not the way you do it. I mean... You can, you can point out all this other shit, but the only thing that has changed, literally for three years in a row, the past three years, we have had the exact same team. And the only thing that has changed this year, now that we're under 500, is our offensive coordinator. Our defense was always this bad. We just kept them off the field because we had eight to 12 minute drives. We had these long ass drives where we ran it and ran it and ran it and ran it. Four yards, four yards, four yards, four yards, four yards, 99 yards, all from four yards runs. And we'd take off 12 minutes off the clock. That's how you win. That's a good drive. So anyways, I'm just letting you people know uh, that's my opinion. Uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, Thank you very much.